Educate Hopkinton hosted their annual Know Your Vote program in preparation for the annual town meeting on Saturday, May 8th. We'll be voting on a town budget of just under $99 million for fiscal year 2022. This represents a 2.86% tax impact on residents and businesses, which equals an increase of $320 in taxes next year for the average home worth just over $650,000. The total school budget is just under 54 million, which represents a 5.8% increase from FY21. The schools are projecting 74 new students to enter the system this fall. There are two bigger ticket items for the schools that we will be voting on. Article 17 is a proposal for just over $3.5 million to add four classrooms to Marathon School. And Article 19 is a request for $3 million to replace a large, large areas of the roofs on Hopkins School and the Middle School. Both of these items are debt exclusions, which in really simple terms, basic terms means if we approve them, they will temporarily increase our taxes to fund these specific projects and will require a second vote at the polls on May 22nd. Um, There are two articles relating to installing commercial solar farms in Hopkinton. These have generated a lot of discussion and interest over the past couple of years. We're going to be talking to Gary Trendle, chair of the planning board, about both. And that just provides a very high level overview of some of the key articles and where there are many more that we're going to get into. And with that, I'm going to pass it over to my fellow EHOP board member, Christy Willitson, to facilitate the Q&A. Town moderator Tom Garabedian shared some of the details about the upcoming town meeting. But uh, as Nanda mentioned, town meeting begins at 9 a.m. this coming Saturday. Uh, you know, we it, it is something that we will conduct rain or shine, and unless the conditions are dangerous, we do intend to conduct the meeting starting starting at nine o'clock on Saturday. I would encourage uh, people to arrive at the high school or the middle school parking lot and high school parking lots uh, early enough to allow uh, voters to get down to the football field where the tent will be set up and where they'll have an opportunity to sign in uh, as as they routinely do, as people routinely do for town meeting uh, and take your seats uh, within the tent. Uh, Chairs will be set up in a socially distant manner we do request that people wear masks even while they're seated under the tent, even though it's outside. Uh, as Nanda mentioned again, there are two meetings that are going to be conducted. At this point, we anticipate opening the annual town meeting first and immediately adjourning it and then opening the special town meeting so that we conduct so that we can conduct the two uh, special town meeting articles first. Uh, We'll conclude that business and then we'll move back, uh, reopen the the annual town meeting and march through the 44 articles. Uh, It is our hope and my expectation that we will complete the um, agenda for both of the meetings on Saturday by Saturday afternoon. And in that light, Uh, I'm going to implore people tonight and also at the meeting uh, not to monopolize the conversation, to to be quick and efficient with respect to their questions, and uh, to enable us to conduct, as we did last year outside, uh, a very thoughtful and efficient meeting. Okay, thank you for that, Tom. One follow-up question. Can you get into the reasoning why there's a special town meeting the same day as the annual town meeting? Uh, I'll venture uh, my understanding, which is that the special town meeting articles came after the annual town meeting warrant was closed. And so in order to to be able to hear it on the same uh, at the same time, it had to be done within the framework of a special town meeting. The panelists then answered questions from the community. First question is, does the FY22 budget provide level services from FY21? Thank you for that question. Um, 
So the short answer is yes, uh, it does. It does provide for level of funding, and actually, uh, there are some specific targeted increases. Uh, the largest new uh, start is the increase is the addition of um, eighteen point five new positions at the Hopkinton Public Schools at a budgeted cost of uh, nine hundred fifty nine thousand two hundred sixty five dollars. Uh, the budget also includes the addition of a single patrol officer at, for the uh, Hopkinton Police Department uh, to be funded in the first year by a host community agreement. Uh, the addition of less than one full-time equivalent employee to the Youth and Family Services Department and the funding of a senior services department driver who is fully paid by, uh, by a grant that's, that's no longer available. And a community member emailed in with the questions related to this. How does the town plan to deal with the drainage problem that is occurring in the neighborhood behind Marathon School and EMC Park? How would this drainage problem be rectified if planning to put additional schools along that same strip of land? And will the town figure out a way to handle the existing problem? Another very good question. Um, as, as I was thinking about the answer to the question, I realized perhaps we should have entitled the article EMC park drainage and abutting properties remediation. Here's why. Uh, the article um, requested is being requested to address an existing drainage runoff issue from the EMC park property impacting private residences on Hazel Road. The proposed remediation in this request is not related to any school property the proposed preliminary modifications, uh, including a final design to come later, will consist of eliminating safest runoff onto the private residences, including installation of additional drainage features within EMC Park, restoration of the existing detention basins in the EMC Park, and installation of new drainage infrastructure including underground pipe and manholes from the restored detention basins to the wet area the surface runoff is currently discharging into, uh, including the areas on the residences on Hazel Road. So again, uh, it's a drainage remediation project that will address the impact of the drainage coming from EM Simpark impacting the abutting properties. You can see the entire Know Your Vote broadcast on our website, hcam.tv, as well as our YouTube page.